a very good morning children so this video is on chapter 2 rise and spread of islam for class 7 history today i'm going to discuss a topic on page number 16 of your history book okay opposition to new religion this new religion is basically the islam which was basically practiced and propagated by prophet muhammad okay now whenever we are talking about this word opposition opposition means birodh okay it means birodh birodh means what it's a disagreement or what we call protest okay or objection okay three years after receiving the first relevation okay now relevation means guidelines okay or commandments or what we call okay a divine okay message given by the god okay muhammad started preaching his views muhammad started okay teaching people about this new religion he started doing prachar 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 means preaching okay preaching means he is addressing okay publicly to the people about this new religion so muhammad started preaching his views about his new religion which was based on okay one point that that was there was only one god so muhammad said there is only one god the first thing and he refused or forbid idol worship the first thing is there is only one god the second point that he based his views were he basically forbid or forbid idol worship idol worship w o r s h i p worship okay then he stressed his importance on good and kind behavior third point is good and kind okay good and kind behavior now you these things you have to understand why muhammad's religion was opposed by the people living in that particular place where he was basically teaching or spreading his new religion okay so the place where he was teaching this new religion was called mecca now mecca was the place where he tried to basically preach his new religion that there is only one god you should refuse okay you should forbid your idol worship you should not do idol worship another thing is you should follow good and kind behavior okay to the people of mecca Muhammad's teaching okay gradually slowly okay drew a number of followers his wife Khadija was one of his first followers okay so Khadija was the first follower of his religion Islam okay Prophet Muhammad began his new religion with a small group of Meccan followers who had accepted his religious ideas so okay Muhammad had a small band of followers at first, okay? And in this small band of followers, the first follower was his wife, Khadija. However, Prophet Muhammad's faith or religion, okay, differed, okay, was dissimilar, okay, from the religious practices of the other people living in that particular place called Mecca because they were already following many gods and goddesses and they did not want to follow, okay, what Muhammad was trying to teach and preach and follow that new religion. So, he met with a stiff opposition. So, he met with a stiff opposition, okay, disagreement since he had denounced okay traditional belief so now the first thing is you come to know is he had denounced publicly okay declared that this old religion that the people of arabia was following was wrong okay or not equal to this new religion okay so it was basically a wrong way of following a religion he said so he made a stiff opposition because he denounced denounced traditional belief now traditional belief whenever we are talking about traditional belief okay we also believe in gods and goddesses 
If somebody tries to tell us, okay, whatever religion you are following is not the right religion, okay, to basically go to heaven, then you will be angry, okay, you will oppose to that person. So, the leading citizens of Mecca, so the rich people of Mecca, okay, who oppose Muhammad's idea of one God because they did not like the view or the teachings of Muhammad, okay, because he had publicly declared that this, the religion that they were following were wrong. Second, second point that you come to know is, okay, the first point is he denounced traditional belief of the Meccan people, okay. The second point is Kaaba. Kaaba is the holy place of the Muslims from the oldest times only, okay. Uh, for, to these Arabian people also. So second point is Kaaba in Mecca. So Kaaba is found in Mecca was under the control of the Quraysh tribe. Okay. So Kaaba was under the control of the Q U R A Y S H Quraysh tribe. Now this tribe is the same tribe from which Muhammad also belonged to. Okay. And Muhammad said that Kaaba. Okay should be used only to worship only one God, not many gods, okay, and goddesses. And you should remove all the idols of gods and goddesses from Kaaba, and you should keep, you worship only one God. This view of Muhammad was rejected by this tribe, because they did not like the notion of being told that their religion was wrong, okay. Thirdly, if idols were removed from the Kaaba, so thirdly, if idols were removed from the Kaaba, if idols were removed from the Kaaba, then what will happen? What consequences will befall upon the Meccan people? Okay. Thirdly, if idols were removed from the Kaaba, the wealthy Arab merchants, so the wealthy Arab merchants. Now, merchants are basically Bepari, okay? Bepari means wholesale, okay? What we call traders, okay? Feared huge losses in, in business in Bepar, okay? In business, they might have a loss because this will reduce the number of people, okay, coming to this holy place called the Kaaba. Because Kaaba was famous for idol worship in the olden times. And people used to visit Kaaba because it was a holy place. And if Kaaba was removed of its idols, that is 360 idols, then, then what will happen? It will have a loss in the business. This was another point which was not liked by the Arabian people. Okay? They, they rejected the view of Muhammad worship of only one God. Therefore, Muhammad was forced to leave Mecca with his small band of followers as some of his teachings went against the okay, existing belief in God of the Arabian people. So Arabian people already worship gods and goddesses and Muhammad's teaching basically, okay, basically went against the belief of their gods. Therefore, Muhammad and his followers were forced to leave from Mecca. He took refuse, okay, so, whenever we are talking about refuse, okay, okay, refuse in a town called Yathrib, okay. So, he took refuse in a town called Yathrib, Yathrib, okay, he took refuse in a town called Yathrib. Now, what is refuse, okay? Now, refuse, you know, a person who is forced to leave his country. So, refuse means he was forced to leave his place, okay and settled down in another place called Yathrib, later known as Mecca, okay? So this Yathrib was later known as Mecca. Okay, later known as, not Mecca, sorry. They, they basically, okay, were thrown from Mecca and they settled down in Medina, sorry. Okay, that was a mistake. Okay. So this Medina is also called the city of prophets. Muhammad escaped to Medina in 622 AD is called Hijra, okay? So, when Muhammad was forced to leave Mecca, okay? And 
settled down in Medina. So when Muhammad was forced to leave Mecca and settle down in Medina in 622 AD, in 622 AD, this event is known as H-I-J-R-A, Hijra, okay, or Hijra, okay, it is also known as Hijra. So it is in your book only, you can refer to your book for the spellings, it is known as Hijra, okay. Now, it marks the beginning of the Islamic era, it marks the beginning of the Islam, okay, the starting of this new religion and the making of the Muslim calendar, okay, Islamic calendar it is called, which is also known as, okay, Hijri. So Muslim calendar is known by the name, okay, Muslim calendar, okay, calendar is known by the name as Hijri, H-I-J-R-I, Hijri, okay. So, Muhammad escape from Med Mecca to Medina is termed as Hijra or Hijra, okay, whereas Muslim calendar is known as Hijri, remember that, okay. The people of Medina welcomed Muhammad. The Meccans true Muhammad, but the Medina people or the people of Medina welcomed Muhammad with open arms and became his followers or disciples. Within 10 years, he had okay, won okay, large support of the warrior tribes that were living in Medina. So, wearing tribes means now another word comes to in a book, it is known as W A R R I N G, wearing tribes. Whenever we are talking about the wearing tribes, okay, these are known as warrior tribes. Warrior tribes, or what we called, okay, no, Laraku, okay, in Nepali, okay, they fight, okay, or they are always in fight with one another. So these tribes basically followed, okay, Muhammad. His supporters included a small, okay, but devoted army. So they were, they were basically warring tribes, therefore they were actually an army, okay, devoted army. So they were loyal and loved Muhammad and his new religion. And they were ready to lay down their lives for the sake of Islam. For the purpose of Islam, they were ready to die also. Okay? They fought with the Meccan tribes for eight years. So this warrior tribes belonged to the place called Medina. And they fought with the Meccan tribes for eight years and finally won and okay control the land of Mecca after eight years. Muhammad again returned to Mecca and the people of Mecca thereafter accepted this new religion called Islam. Mecca and Medina, so these two holy places, okay. Mecca and Medina became the two holy places of the Muslims where Prophet Muhammad had taught his new religion, preached his new religion as well as propagated his new religion. Okay, So these two places became the two holy places of the Muslims. Now we come to know that Muhammad died in 622, 632 AD. So Muhammad actually died in 632 AD in Medina he died in Medina okay he died in Medina by then almost the whole of the Arabian Peninsula or the whole of Arabia had accepted this new religion called Islam okay so you can see that okay Muhammad had transformed or changed the religion of the whole people living in that particular area so Muhammad had succeeded in uniting the tribes of Arabia into a single religion, okay. This united the Arab tribes and they became a powerful political power, okay. 
so they became a powerful okay power or political power uh, after they united under one room under one roof under one religion they became very very powerful and uh, the and this was the beginning of the spread of islam and islam spread due to okay conquering or capturing of lands from arabia to western asia jordan iraq Persia, Sindh, Turkey, and Egypt. <coughs> After this, we are learning about the five pillars of Islam, okay? <coughs> Which is also known as the main five principles of Islam. It is also known as the five pillars of Islam. Okay. Muhammad preached means Muhammad. Okay, basically taught people. Okay, or the five okay duties of a Muslim. This tenets or duties. Now, these duties are also called tenets. T e n e n t s. Tenets or duties of a Muslim. So these are the four, five duties or tenets of a Muslim. Okay, the first one is known as sahada. Okay, the first one is known as sahada. Now, what does the word sahada means? It means that there is only one God, and Muhammad is his prophet. So Muhammad is the messenger of God or the representative of God on earth. Okay. The second pillar of Islam is known as okay salat. Okay, now what does salat means? Every Muslim must pray five times a day, so they have to pray five times. Okay, a day, also called namaz. This five times is also called namaz. Okay, and they have to pray five times when. Before sunshine, at noon, that is afternoon, in the late afternoon, at sunset, and after sunset. While praying, while doing puja, they have to face the direction of the holy shrine called the Kaaba. So, when they, were, they are praying, they face a particular direction. That direction is towards the holy place that is called Kaaba. Okay? Now, the third, okay? Principle is Swam. Okay. A Muslim should fast from dawn to dusk. Now, what is fast mean? Fast means to abstain, okay, from food or to refuse food, okay, from dawn to dusk. What does D A W and dawn mean? Okay. Dawn means the first light of the day. Okay. And what does the word dust mean? Okay, dust means okay to nightfall. From the first light of the day to the nightfall, they have to fast. Okay, in the holy month of Ramzan. Okay, the ninth month. So the ninth month of the Muslim calendar. So Ramzan is hold in the ninth month of Muslim calendar or Islamic calendar. calendar so this is known as ramzan okay now the fourth principle that we come across is known as zakat okay now what is zakat every muslim must give a certain portion of the wealth as arms okay as a l m s arms okay to the poor now arms means money or goods contributed to the poor so you have to give some money to the poor or the beggar etc this is known as zakat okay now we are moving on to the fifth point okay that is known as hajj Hajj means okay. 
pilgrimage or you have to visit that holy place okay so the kaaba at mecca is islam's holiest place or shrine every muslim who can afford to undertake every muslim i'm talking about every muslim in the world who can afford to undertake the annual pilgrimage so annual means okay once in a year once in a year they have to go on a pilgrimage p i l g r i m a g e pilgrimage is also known as hajj okay to mecca must do at least once in their lifetime okay between the period of their birth and death of a person a person should visit this holy place once in their lifetime so these were the five principles of okay islam or also known as five pillars of islam hope you find this lesson useful thank you for listening and have a good day